All right, man, this is John Wick 2.0, man. I'm out here with my boy, Austin, and I'm starting up a new series, man, called Just The Grip. And I'm gonna be asking a few questions to just people that I know and random guys, man. Um, just some two-way stuff, man. Nice little series of questions. So let's go ahead and get started, man. Uh, what do you carry, man? Uh, I carry a uh, Sig X Macro. It got the Wilson Combat frame on it. It's modified. I put a little razor back on it. Uh, I run the FDES comp slide with the uh, ported barrel, and I got an IMT Nebraska trigger in there. IMT Nebraska? I never heard of that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a no, little. I'm from Nebraska too. That's yeah, crazy. it's a little sleeper company. A lot of people don't know about it because they jump on the M Carbo ones, but it's it's pretty much the same thing, just different design. Okay, that sounds cool, man. Is that your? Uh, that's what you carry uh often or do you have something else in rotation or is that just i carry this top? i carry this probably about 99 percent of the time sometimes i'll throw my mmp 2.0 in there okay but other than that it's usually this this just 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 because it's convenient because i'm wearing shorts and stuff gym clothes pretty much most of the time so what, what do you what do you think something like that sets you back man uh my gun probably with all the mods i want to say nine to eleven that's pretty good, man. Yeah, pretty it ain't, good. It ain't too much. Pretty good. Do you carry medical at all? Your vehicle on you at all? Anything yeah, like that? Yeah, so uh, I always got in my son's diaper bag pretty much a full IFAC because I always got my son usually most of the time. Oh, yeah. But on my person, I always got a tourniquet. I, I carry, carry the uh, soft tee, and then I carry a uh, combat gauze. That's good, man. You got to have medical, man, at all times. Yeah. I need to upgrade my medical, man. I, I, I carry a tourniquet. That's about it, but... I definitely need to go ahead and stop being cheap. And also, man, yeah, big kudos to fathers, man. You heard him say have his son 90% of the time, man. Do you guys have y'all sons like that? <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, uh, moving on, y'all, moving on. What do you uh, do for a job, man? What what uh, field are you in, at least? You know, you don't got to be specific. I don't want everybody too deep into everything that you do, but, you know. Yeah, so I was in the military for nine years. Hey. I just got out on the 21st. Thanks for the service. Appreciate you. Yeah. So I start school in August for EMT. So I'm getting my EMT cert just as a prereq because I'm trying to get in the firefighter. Hey, yeah. one service uh, uh, position to another, man. Thank you for your service. I appreciate acts, man, it. For I sure. appreciate it. For sure. And uh, do you do you uh, believe in backpack carry or is that something that you just haven't got into yet? Or it's like, I don't need that, you know? Uh, Honestly, it's not that I'm against it or for it. It's really something I really looked into that much. I used to carry a lot in the fanny pack like you got, like uh -huh. 94 industries, 945 industries. But I don't know. I just always preferred it on my person, per se. And it, it never really became like an issue for me. So I never really seen the the need for backpack carry. But there's just some stuff that's came out that I'm like, I might have to dabble a little bit. Hey, and, that, and, that's, <laughs> and that's what it kind of was with me. It's not that I need a backpack carry. Yeah. But I've, I've seen a lot of platforms that I know that I just wanted to not have live in my closet if yeah, I exactly, purchase them. You know exactly, what I mean? So I'm like, exactly. I, I want to I wanna be able to, to bring this out if I need to. Really, if I want to. It's not even a need. Mm -hmm. And even with this, carrying this 945 Industries bag, I do have the dagger in here right now. Yeah. Uh, I'm able to carry an extra mag. But then I also, I'm, car I'm carrying a, uh, just a grip, guys. That's oh, all we're yeah. doing. I'm also carrying the, uh, the Prodigy as well. Uh, I plan on uh, picking up a C here soon, man. The new C's yep. that just came out. So uh, just trying to get all my ducks in a row, yeah. uh, figuring that out. Because I know if I get that too quick and something else comes out, yep. I'm going to be sad. So I'm like, exactly. I know it's brand new and it's fresh and it's out here. Mm -hmm. But let me give it a little breather before I go ahead and just jump right on it. Because that's 25 uh, that's not out the door so yeah. it's probably, you know it's like 29 exactly. 27 28 exactly you know out the door type of stuff so yeah yeah man i'm trying to wait till like q3 to get stuff that's usually like when you know more stuff is not going to come out the rest of the year hey exactly <laughs> exactly i mean that's why i like this little thing right here this is cheap and sometimes people give me a uh, grief on it on on the psa uh micro dagger c1 yeah but you can't you can't find these things on the, on the internet i mean yeah. when they when uh in this particular formation, like I said, the C1, you can mm -hmm. get micros on there all day. But as soon as they announce these C1s are on the website, they're gone. Yeah. Literally, they're just yep. gone. So I was grateful enough to have some sort of connection with the company that I was able to get my hands on one of these. But yeah. 
Yeah, man. She moving on. Do you do you think that constitutional carry should be uh, in every state? A thousand percent. Hey, I agree with that too, man. A thousand percent. I agree that constitutional carry should be for everyone who is of the correct criteria that we've yeah. already discussed. Like I said, you don't have to, uh, you shouldn't have to go through all of these extra training classes and things like that. In my opinion, you need training, mm -hmm. but you should not have to, let, okay, let's get right. You need training, but you should not have to pay the state to protect yourself yep. and also pay for these platforms and also wait a particular amount of time to be able to get approved by said agencies. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you're old enough to get that, if you've already passed those first wave, uh, that first wave of a criteria to be able to get a firearm, you yeah. should be able to do what you want to do with it. You've 100%. already proved that you are a, a good enough citizen to go purchase one. Mm -hmm. So you need to have extra, uh, uh, um, you need to get merched extra, uh, an e extra amount of times um, I'm John running over my words, but yeah, you need to, you need for more validation to go ahead and run these platforms uh, the way that we all sh it was intended to. You were intended to protect yourself, not just in the house. And with the way that Colorado is going right now, you got to have it. If you don't have it on you, it needs to be locked up in the car. Mm -hmm. So they're making it more. Uh, it's making it difficult for you to have access to these platforms when you actually need them. Yep. It's like they only want you to bring it out if you're going hunting or planking. It's it's it doesn't make any sense to me. Like you should be able to have quick uh, the same access that a criminal or somebody of that mindset that's coming to um, take your possessions or really you know possessions the la the the least the, the lowest on the totem pole when it comes to those things. But mm -hmm. just give bodily harm to anybody that you know or just people around you, man. Period. Point blank. So. You should be at, I feel like you should have all the cheat codes. You should be at a, a more of an advantage than them. Exactly. You know, uh, when it comes down to that, we're following the rules. Yeah, they a lot did, of people, they, yeah go ahead, a man. A lot of people got this misconceived notion that, like, you can just go buy a gun. Like, no, you still got to go through the background check yeah. and everything. So, like, if you pass all that, then it shouldn't be an issue. And a lot of people think that, like, you can be dependent on law enforcement. And you, you live in Colorado, so you see, like, the, the police response time is pretty slow out here. And that's no diss to them. That's just that like they got a lot going on. Facts, so you, they're not always going to be there to be able to protect you if you need them. So you got to be able to protect yourself. And that's my main thing. I got to be able to protect me and my family. That's my main goal. That's why I care. Hey, man, absolute facts. Yeah. And, and it's no diss to any law enforcement, like he said. Yeah. When I was growing up, and I, I, was, I come from a different state, man. I uh, used to live in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And I've been a, 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 a numerous amount of places to understand that Police are there to clean up the mess. Yep. They can never get there in time unless it's some miracle that they're pulling in the parking lot yeah. or they happen to be on location. They're not going to be able to stop you from that 10, 15 seconds. All it takes for that those actions to happen. Most crimes and most things like that happen in a minute or less, bro. Mm -hmm. So there's no way that they can just dart there and be there, you know, instantly yep. for you. So you either going to have to run and hide cower out and possibly still get the same fate or buck up man up figure it out for yourself uh make sure that you still you know being precautious looking at backstops looking at things like that man so hey hey man yeah he got he got some you know he got a good brain on the uh, uh, uh brain man like i said um we're gonna go ahead and we'll be interviewing a lot of people man just of different backgrounds different clads and creeds but Hey, let's see. So, when you do, uh, I know that you're in uh, gym attire right now or just leisure wear. Yeah. When you get uh, fully dressed out, what are some things that you do implement into your EDC besides your firearm? Do you have like a knife? Do you have a special watch? Yeah. Is there, you know? So, ahead, I'm, you. I'm pretty... I'm pretty minimalist and I want to make sure like everything I'm carrying, I'm carrying on me no matter what I'm wearing. Mm -hmm. So even when I'm in like my business casual attire, business attire, depending on like what business I'm doing, I still always have the same stuff. So I carry in the Filster Enigma. Okay. So I got a spare mag all the times and then uh, I carry with the sport belt. So I got, it got a pocket for my tourniquet, a pocket for my gauze. So I can always have that on me at all times with my gun. And then my wallet is pretty minimalist. It's the Chums surfboard. I don't remember the name, but. That uh, I got a pocket so I can keep my flashlight and my knife in it. Carry the Civivi. 
Uh, yeah, Damascus I like that blade. flipper. Can I see it real yes, fast? Sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Lightweight. You know, yeah. It's nice. It is, man. It's very nice. nice. Very nice. Yeah, so I carry that flashlight. And then I, what I recently just added to my carry was uh, pepper spray. So I started carrying uh, palm pepper spray. Okay. I used to see that a lot on uh, active self-protection. Yeah, uh, yeah. He was yeah. one of the people that got me on it. And then, you know, in the, uh, the deliberate training group. Okay. They, they were telling me that, and then I was just doing my own research on it, and it, it is convenient. And it's not even really for people, but when I'm walking my dogs a lot, I don't know what it is in my neighborhood, but they they do not like to lock up their dogs. And I've had dogs run up on my dogs, and it would have been convenient to have pepper spray to, <laughs> to Man, separate yeah, that up. Give me you know <laughs> I don't. I, I I love my dog. I like my dog to be free, so I got yeah. it on like a collar. Yeah. It's like a shock collar. I don't just push the shock button. They got three other functions like uh just noise yep and um it's like a vibration, vibration. Yep, yeah yep and i only use the shock if i have to and mm -hmm. she's pretty uh knowledgeable she's not a slow dog so yeah. she, she don't want that so she just does what she has to do she comes out here rips and runs mm -hmm. go use the bathroom over on that side yeah uh, like the other dogs do but sometimes uh when people come to the door and things like that you know she's aggressive of her territory but yep. out here I don't really have to hear about any, like, nobody never told me that she's done anything crazy, mm -hmm. but coming to my door, you'll think she was some other little devil yeah, dog or that's something. That's how dogs are. <laughs> so as you knock on the door, they barking, but you come in the house, they, my dog's just like teddy bears. Yeah. How you, uh, what kind of dogs you got, man? I got two American bullies and a pit bull. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. about getting a cancor, so I have a little, this is, uh, uh, what do you want? What do I call it? It's a Pomsky. It's a Husky and a oh, Pomeranian, nice. but it's yeah. not. It's like this big. It's not little, but yeah. it's not big. It's yeah. like a mid tier dog. And I'm, I'm, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna get a cane corso when I get up out of this. Yeah, get up out of cane corso is nice. Here. I used to have one. That yeah, was my boy. Man. Yeah. Uh, how do you like running that that uh, Enigma? I, I, I like about it. That. I like I it a lot. That. It takes a lot to get on. It takes a lot just to like figure out what works for you and your body. Like it. It's a lot of like adjustments. Cause it look like but a it's not, jock strap. <laughs> yeah. So I don't I don't run the uh the leg leash anymore because that thing is uncomfortable and like it it never got it never stayed taut on my legs. It always slid down and oh, like okay. you said it felt like a jock strap. So I just run a a, a DCC clip okay. on it and it keeps it everything else. The retention's good. You can still draw and everything. So I ditched the leg leash, did that, and then just like a lot of trier and error like configuration with your body. Luckily I got mine pretty squared away. But it's nice. It's it's convenient. I will say that because I can carry any, anything. It don't matter. Man, what do those run? Uh, so you could probably get, if you get the Express Enigma, depending on, because you got to get a holster that is Enigma compatible. That's where it kind of gets pricey. So I would expect anywhere from like 160 to 210 for like a, a full setup. And you got to get the Enigma system. Okay. And then you got to get the holster. If, and then if you want the sport belt, that's another cost on top of that. So you, it could run anywhere between like, I would say like 220. Yeah. That's not too bad. Yeah. When you get into like custom holsters, it's yep. going to be at least two. And that's obviously coming with extra components besides mm -hmm. just the holster. Mm -hmm. The holster is removable. You can just put it on a different belt if you needed to. Yeah. So if I want, if I don't want to run my nigga, I can just unscrew it, put my clips back on my holster and just run my holster regularly if I wanted to. So that's something that I'm a... Uh, I'm going I'm to look into Warriors, man. Um, like I said, I, I go to the gym yep. maybe like three to four times a week. Yep. But I always got the bag. Yep. And I feel comfortable with that because I can remove it when I need to and it's still right next to me. Mm -hmm. And I can kind of, I don't have any limitations with my activities. Yeah. But um, just out of the gym, chilling. Sometimes I'm in areas where I kind of feel like maybe they know. Mm -hmm. Like I got three different bags. I have yeah. uh, I have two of these bigger ones, and I have a smaller one. This is the only one that's basically the badge that don't mm -hmm. have anything extra on it. I just like mm -hmm. I have a gun, sir. Yeah, but then they got stuff. the nine four five, yeah. so people recognize mm -hmm. the nine four five. It gets a little like ah. Uh huh. So I would like to have something that I can kind of be like. So this is what I'm saying, y'all. This is gray man ish. Because it takes somebody to know to know, mm -hmm. but I would still rather be able to just be in my just shorts and yeah. stuff like that. I like, um, like I can get away with this at a park, any outdoor functions. This is nothing. Yeah. But just let's say if I have to go someplace like 
we in Colorado, man, we had a, a movie incident years ago. You know, I was here. We had a movie incident years ago in, in Aurora. Just because they, I'm going to tell you all this right now, people, just because they got the sign up that say that, that's mm -hmm. not against the law. Mm -hmm. That just mean what they don't want. It's like Walmart telling you they don't want you to, you can't come in without your shirt and shoes on. Yeah. They can't take you to jail for that. But they just say don't come back here. Mm -hmm. Now I'd rather be protected than worry about coming back to one particular dang store. Yep. When it's multiple stores of the same uh, the same store, God dang. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather continue to be protected so that I have zero soft spots. That's what criminals are looking for, bro. They're looking for the soft spots. Where can they uh, antagonize the most people at? Yep. And anywhere I go, I'll, it will never be a soft spot, guys. Yeah, uh, all these gun-free zones. You know, yeah, it'll never be a soft spot. But let's see, man. We might have one more question. Uh... Oh, before you do, before you move on, well, you mentioned the uh, working out. I work out in this, running this, everything. Same amount of comfort, and I and I power lift. So and no bounce, no, no bounce, no adjusting. No, like it just stays where I need it. Like I said, that took a lot of work to figure out the areas, uh -huh, uh -huh. and um, I feel like me losing some weight helped a lot too, because you know I got rid of that dad gut from my yeah. wife's pregnancy. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I power lift. So I'm squatting heavy, deadlifting heavy, benching heavy never really gets in the way of any anything i actually got some videos i can send you uh, and yeah. you like squatting and stuff yeah man we'll exchange uh numbers after this yep. man we ain't got to worry about going to the net and stuff yeah. like that man yep. um what gym do you go to i go to the y it's uh right by Downtown? my house no it's it's uh it's by my house i can't remember the street it's uh, at the uh new point center drive where the movie theater is like the little plaza area it's a big Y, big gym. I go there just because they got daycare and I can take my son. Yep, yep, yep. I know where you mean. I, mm -hmm. I know where you're at uh, with that. Uh -oh. But, um, yeah. Shoot, guys. I think this will wrap up our very first edition of Just the Grip. Now, you seen my grip. Prodigy. My boy got his macro. So, tune in for another episode of this, man. We just getting started. Hopefully, we can get uh like i said just people of different clads and creeds man to, to come on on here and uh spread the knowledge give their input on the two-way field and where it stands at right now and just show you the diversity within this community man that everybody is not just the grandpa fud or the super thug mm -hmm. you know we are regular human beings we're men we're women and we just want to keep our family safe and we have some people like uh fancy cars we just have an affinity to these firearms man yeah, yeah. and it's not that um we're out here running and using them just think about anything else somebody has an affinity to they're not abusing it per se you know they just like to uh have the have the things that they feel are top tier in their possession and in the arms reach if it needs uh to solve a problem for mm -hmm. them let's just say that man we on youtube yep. let's stay compliant uh but we out of here man this is my boy austin again Appreciate man you. austin uh I, I always say adt man but it's, <laughs> it's a long one i ain't gonna give y'all this whole one but uh tune in tune in next time y'all we out of here Trick a maniac gang if you should know don't make me call john with 2.0 baby girl ain't got no motion she ain't my type fully loaded